Sonia, thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thanks. It's a pleasure to have you here on Science Friday. Yeah, anytime. So, um, Memorial Sloan Kettering, yeah. world famous cancer institute, cancer hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about the work that you do there. Yeah, so I'm a member of a lab that's working on improving computer programs uh, to build better, cheaper cancer drugs. Computer programs. I never kind of put <laughs> together computer programs and cancer drugs. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, so currently we are able to use computer programs to develop better bridges, better planes. We don't um, shoot a plane up in the air and see if it falls out. We already know ahead of time that the plane is going to fly. We're not currently in a position to do this for uh, making drugs, and this is what we're trying to improve. So. Well, so actually I do both. So we want to compare the computer results with uh, experimental results so that we can improve our estimates. Um, and so what the computer program does is it uses the current state of the art in physics and statistics and software uh, development to be able um, to help improve our models of drugs. And so what are the implications for the community at large? I mean, it's, they, they could be tremendous if, if we get it to work. So right now, um, uh, drugs an individual drug costs a billion dollars to get it um, through the pipeline and to a patient. And uh, Wait, go back a minute. <laughs> that, that's a pretty wild statement. Yeah. It costs a billion dollars to what? For, for a single drug to get developed. So what happens is that cost um, is actually a combination of all the drugs that fail. So right now, um, every drug, there's thousands, thousands of drugs that are start in a pipeline and only one gets out at the okay. end. So by the time that one drug gets through the pipeline, it has, the, the community, the scientific community has spent a billion dollars. Yeah, that, not even the scientific community, that specific company developing that one drug. Wow. Okay. Um, so now what do you do that relates to that? What we're trying to do is reduce um, those drugs at the beginning. So through computer, computer models, we can take that huge amount of drugs and reduce it from 1,000 to, say, 10, and say we just test those and put them through the okay. pipeline. Okay, so you're a process of elimination kind of thing. You're, yeah. you're getting rid of the, the low end, okay, these are never going to work, but you don't know that unless you've got a good computer program? Yeah, and that's what we're trying to work. So, so at the moment, we're focusing on, uh, our models are based on a specific cancer drug that's worked in the past for a type of leukemia. Okay. It's a very successful blockbuster drug called Givec. Maybe people have heard of it or have used okay. it themselves. And we're taking the success of this leukemia drug and trying to um, reproduce it for other types of cancer. Wow. Well, great. That's, that's really interesting, and good luck to you. Thank you.